Hi, my name is Shamari Maurice, and welcome to my Get to Know Me. I don't know why I did it or whatever, but my Instagram name is Sham Maurice, and so everyone calls me Sham, but my name is Shamari, and so my nickname is Sham, but people think it's my real name. Because also my Snapchat name, which is public, is Sham here, which I think is a great name, and I do not know how I came up with it. I grew up all around like Southern California. I was born in Pasadena and I just had to move everywhere like uh, that my parents opened a business or whatever. I've been in the entertainment industry. I started acting when I was like maybe like 11, 12. This guy, he was like, have you ever thought of acting? He gave me this card and I called the card and I said, I wanna be on the TV. And they like laughed and they were like, let me talk to your parents. And then I was like a child actor, and then I was like just doing like jobs here and there, like I did Modern Family, Ugly Betty. And then I quit, because I wanted to be a normal kid, which was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my whole entire life, I'm kidding. <laughs> After high school, I picked back up on it and started modeling, so. I should put my phone on, it's my mom. Hey mom, you're on speaker and I'm doing an interview. Okay, and... well I was just calling to say hi. Okay. Bye. Okay, next question. The most interesting place that I did a photo shoot. <laughs> I had to host this like guest event. I found out at the event while I'm hosting it in the middle of it that I booked a job for Vogue Russia. That night, because I was so hyped on hosting the guest event, I went to this club and the shoot in my call time it was at six in the morning at the same club. I could have just slept here. <laughs> When it comes to modeling and fashion, I'm very grateful that I have a close relationship with these designers who appreciate my style. The most iconic person I've ever met in fashion, like I was a fan of him before I even met him, Kanye West. It's his mind, and I like how outspoken he is. My transition into fashion, it was really organic. I love clothes, I love the art of having a look and waking up and being able to put on what you feel and what you want to put out into the world. One day I will look like a bum on the street, like a skater. The next day, you know. I'm like in a crop top or something. I just like that I can reflect my mood. I honestly might change just in the middle of this. If my life was a movie, it'd be called A Work in Progress. I don't have any tattoos, because a fun fact about me is I hate tattoos on my body. I love it on everyone else's. My go-to Starbucks drink is a venti ice cream tea with eight pumps of classic. It is super sugary. My favorite fashion designer, the Fairfax flea market. <laughs> That's where I really do shop at. My celebrity crush is Zoe Kravitz. I literally screenshot her outfits, and I'm like, I'll wear this tomorrow. My mom, she's so annoying, it's so weird. Hi mom, I'm still doing the interview and you're on speaker. Okay, well, continue the interview. I'll talk to you this afternoon. All right, bye girl. Love you. Love you. My mother, she's accepted me for me, like, my whole life. We're best friends. I came out to my mom and said I was gay, and she cried. I was like, girl, stop. And she was like, <laughs> girl, I know. Uh, relationships have been awful, awful. I'm the whole package. Date me, I'm desperate. I just have the worst taste in men. I promise it's my last change. I do have a hidden talent. I can tap dance. In 10 years, I see myself on a stage at the Staples Center or in Madison Square Garden. I love R&B. I really love pop. I'm so blessed to have all the friends that I have who are in the music industry, so I see how it works. I'm taking singing lessons, I'm meeting with producers, stuff like that, and I haven't told anyone that I want to make music. It's just in the green stages, so. Some of my favorite Instagram posts are my 21st birthday. That was cool, all my friends came. I took over the Snapchat for the MTV Movie Awards red carpet, and I loved my outfit because for some reason that day, I wanted to like look like a bum, and I did it in a very nice way. This post, I was at Coachella. I've gone to Coachella since I was 14, and I didn't want to go this year. I was like, I don't want to go to Coachella. Who cares about Coachella? The morning of Coachella, I'm like, I have to go. And then last but not least, this picture is when I shot, I told you guys earlier, when I shot at the club for Vogue Russia, but I slayed the picture. I'm cute. My advice to this audience, and it's so cliche and everyone says this, it's so annoying, I get it. But be yourself, just be your authentic true self. Also get your hair done and always never forget to put your do-rag on before you go to sleep. Back to my mark. Everyone, quiet on the set! Thank you guys so much for watching my Get To Know Me. Subscribe to Austinist TV and my channel.